I mean, don't expect perfection. In fact, the spinner assignment demonstrated that. You get a lot of variation. In fact, we actually can measure the amount of variation by the standard error of the mean, how much the numbers vary. So again, I'm going to ask the class, literally by a show of hands, how many people feel that 4.8 basically doesn't prove the table is perfect, but it doesn't have, there's no evidence that it's a bad table. So if we're willing to give the benefit of the doubt to the A0, we're going to continue to say the guy's innocent until proven guilty. And 4.8 basically backs up the A0. That's my question. So how many people feel that 4.8 backs up the A0? OK, how many people feel it backs up the H1? OK, so now, what if I did a 5.0? Does 5.80 back up the A0 or back up the H1? Well, we don't have any, uh, Brian has to leave, so I don't, I'm not going to go through all the 5.2, 5.4, 5.6. So we're going to jump to the extreme. So 5.0, by the way, is still, even though 4.5 is the ideal and 5.0 is a little bit away, but still 5.0 is, you know, not as extreme as this. It's not as extreme as this. I mean, there are a lot of, I mean, it's about three point, uh, you know, it's not that extreme. Um, anyway, what if I got a, a 6.0 or a 6.6 .6 or a 7.0 or eventually, let's say for argument's sake, you, you got a brand, I think what's happening, a brand new table was sent to you in the mail, you open it up, you close your eyes, you pick five numbers, and the average came out to 8.8. .8. And now you have a choice to make. Either that proves or is evidence to saying this table is messed up. I mean, the, the table, it means that, okay, one possibility is that the average truly is 4.5 and every now and then you will get an 8.8. .8. How much? One out of 10,000 or one out of 100,000 times. So one possibility is that it's still a good table. We just happen to have extremely bad luck, or the publisher had bad luck, that we picked five weird numbers. The other possibility is no. This number is so unusual, and the only way to really answer that is by going back to your spinner assignment 18. This number is so unusual that maybe that's already evidence the table is messed up. So again, how many people feel that 8.8 .8 will be evidence the table is messed up, or in other words, the H1? Please, by a show of hands. How many people feel 8.8 .8 if the table is messed up? Okay, I'm getting three or four hands. How many people feel 8.8 .8 is still evidence the table is a good table? What was the high? Did you do the spinner assignment 18? What was the highest you ever got? I'll tell you, the highest you probably got is 7.2 or 7.4. No one ever gets higher than 7.6. So 8.8, .8, no one, all my 30 years of teaching, no one got it. Again, it's one out of a million. Could you get an eight point? Yeah, you can. You can spin a. You can pick a, a nine, a nine, a nine, a nine, and an eight. That's possible. I mean, any number between zero. But was that going to happen too often? So, what's the more likely interpretation of getting an eight point eight? The table is messed up. There's something weird going on. The table is not a typical good random number table. David, did I, did I, did I convince you? Becerra, did I, did I convince you? Because you raised, you raised your hand a second ago that eight point eight is evidence the table is a perfectly good table. But 8.8 .8 really should be interpreted as a, as an evidence the table is messed up. Did I commit you or? Okay, so, so, so at this point, unless I'm, because uh, I'm r rushed for time, um, everybody agrees that 8.8 .8 .8 represents evidence for the H1. Everybody agreed that 4.8 .8 was evidence for the H0, right? So the question I'd like you to work on between now and Monday, and it should take you two or three minutes, is at what point would you change your vote? Would you change your vote of 5, 5.5, 5, 6, 6.4, 6 6.5, 7, 7.5? It got to be changed. Somewhere between 4.8, everybody believes 4.8 means the table is a perfectly good table. Everybody agrees 8.8 .8 the table, sorry, my mistake. Everybody believes for 8.8 .8, .8, the table is clearly a very unusual and probably messed up table. At what point would you change your vote? So I want you to come up with that number. That's your first homework. Then I want you to come up that the next homework is to come up with the reason why you chose that number. Now, there can be many good reasons for it, but don't look in the book for a formula. That's, that would be defeating the whole purpose. But one of the main ways of answering the question is by going back to your personal experience with either 50 or maybe 200. I'm not sure how many I asked you. I think 200. 200 averages. And look at what you say is typically a good table, what number you say consider to be a bad table. And we're going to tell you, once you would do that exercise, and I'm going to check people individually, once you do the exercise, the next, and there's two more concepts in the whole chapter, and then I can show you the formula. But first, I want you to work out the formula basically tells you what that boundary should be by plugging numbers into a formula. But I want you to do it first without a formula, just by thinking about the issues involved. And if it turns out you're wrong, we'll find out why you're wrong and how to improve it by hand before we see a formula, and then we'll actually see the formula coming up with more or less the same answer. So it might take us 20 minutes the first time we do it by hand, it will take us 20 seconds when we plug everything into the formula. So I want you to do it the long way, at least at the beginning, 
that's the purpose of, that's the homework for next time. So, so I think spinner assignment 30 and 31 ask you to do those two things.